So the paint that I'm using today is called Beyond Paint. Let's see if you can see that. Beyond Paint All in One. Doesn't want to focus really well. But they had sent me a kit to try out. It's a bonder primer and sealer all in one. I have never used this paint before, but this is uh, a color called linen. And my camera's not wanting to focus for some reason, but the kit came with the paint and you put it on with uh, a little roller. Came with a little chip brush and some instructions. So I'm, ex I'm excited to try this and I took just one of my paint brushes and put a coat on this scrap piece of wood and this stuff is really neat. I'm excited to use it. It's like a thick consistency and this is just one coat and it just coats beautifully and that was just on raw wood. I didn't do anything to it. So I'm kind of excited to try this and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know what I think at the end. I had to gather up a little bit of supplies today so for this project. What I'm using today for this desk makeover is I got my supplies together and I'm using some simple green with just a rag. I'm going to clean my uh, desk off of any dust or anything. It's been in the house so it shouldn't be too dirty. I need my screwdriver. I've got to take some hardware off. I'm going to patch up the holes because I'm putting this new hardware on. Oh, well, I say new, but it's vintage. I had bought it on another dresser at a yard sale quite some time ago. The dresser was just too far gone, but I loved the hardware. Now, I know some people would probably paint this or do something to it, but I really actually like the worn patina on it. I did um, use some steel wool on it just to get any excess uh, rust or anything off of it like that. But I'm going to be putting those on this dresser. It's going to go from sort of beachy, oh and then my well used, <laughs> my well used drop cloth. But you can see it's got the brass. I had done brass hardware on it. This was the original hardware and it was black and I painted it the warm gold and I had bought these I believe off Amazon and they're really cute. I'm going to reuse them somewhere but now that I'm painting this linen color I just want it to have more of a vintage feel and it's going to have these all the way down. So you can see my holes are at a different place so I'm going to have to work on that. But I just wanted this sort of mushroom color and I've can't, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do something with this black. I had done black chalk paint on here and I may need to um, sand that just a tiny bit if I'm going to paint over that. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to see how it goes with the sort of mushroom color. But normally you don't have to prep a lot with this all-in-one paint. It bonds. It's beautiful. Like I said, I have, I said before that I had tried it on this board that was just raw wood and it bonds beautifully. I'm pretty excited to get this on this desk and see how it looks. So those are my supplies and I'm going to get, get working. And also I've got my iced tea and my headphones to listen to something. So I don't know if you guys do that when you're working on projects or cleaning, but I certainly love to listen to something on my phone, either a podcast or music or something.
There's no need to mix or stir the paint, which is really nice. And it's really thick. It comes out like pudding, which is normal. And it makes the coverage just great. It's really nice to paint with. It's low VOC. And they say minimal odor. I did not smell anything at all. And I did this right in the room that I was gonna put it in. And the first coat is considered the bonding coat. And it takes three or four hours to dry. I put one coat and I let it dry overnight. And then I came back with a second coat and that was all that I needed. It really did go on beautifully. I am really happy with this paint. That's the first coat. And then the second one just looked beautiful by the time I was done covered really really well and guys I'm so excited they will give you 15% off with my link that I'm putting in the description below so that's a nice savings because a lot of times this furniture paint can be a little bit more expensive but this stuff really I barely used um, much of that paint in there at all I'm kind of looking around for other projects because there's a lot left over And here's the finished desk with the vintage hardware put on. And I'm really impressed with this paint. I styled it up. I'm not sure if this is where it's gonna stay. This is turning into my plant room. It's an extra bedroom, but having a lot of plants in here. And you can see it can function quite nicely as a desk. And there are some good drawers on the bottom. And I think the neutral color goes really nice with this rug in here to give just a really boho feel. I've got my vintage ladder. I've got these buffalo prints, which are free artwork, which I'm gonna to talk to you about in another video. Put a few plants beside it. And that is the result. Let me know what you think. I think it's a very pretty neutral that will go with color or work with other neutrals, but it's not a white, something just a little different. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe for more from Free Range Cottage.